It's my immense pleasure and honor to be a speaker invited at this prestige conference. Unfortunately, due to some circumstances, I could not attend this meeting. Therefore, I would like to give this talk by video. The title of my talk is IT Technologies in the Evaluation of Human's Health. Firstly, I would like to introduce my co-authors, my colleagues, who worked on this program. This is a PhD in psychology, Associate Professor Dr. Eisman Nina, my wife. Secondly, Lebedev Alexei, PhD, Assistant Professor, Programmist, and Doctor of Medical Sciences, uh, Rubanovich Victor. And it's me when I was a little bit younger. Over the past 15 years, the demographic and epidemiological situation in Russia has been characterized by unfavorable trends expressed in an increase of diseases, accidents, uh, with the impact of negative environmental factors, unhealthy lifestyles, rising suicides, divorces, decreasing birth rates, etc. Among young people, such risk factors as various forms of dependent behavior, the use of alcohol and drugs as a means of avoiding life problems, are returning to widespread use. It is no accident that the President of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, at a meeting of the State Council, said, we are facing extremely worrying trends. At 14 years, two-thirds of Russians' children already have chronic diseases. Half have disorders in the cardiovascular and respiratory systems. Up to 40% of records do not able to fulfill the minimum standards for the physical training of military personnel. There are a lot of factors determining the decrease of health of young people. You can see them on this slide. Among these factors, you can find some of them behavioral and some organizational. In these conditions, the main direction of the domestic policy of the state is the formation and protection of the health of children, adolescents, and use as the basis for improving the national security of the country. A special role in the solution of these issues is acquired by educational organizations of various levels, where the formation and development of the individuals is taking place. Unfortunately, the modern education system cannot yet ensure the fulfillment of these tasks in an effective manner. This is evidenced by official data. Up to 85% of school graduates have various psychosomatic disorders and diseases. Therefore, one of the main tasks of Russian schools and universities is to minimize these demographic and social threats, especially paying attention to their systemic decisions. At present, there are a number of normative and legal documents that determine the compulsory assessment of the health of students and pupils in educational institutions. You can see some of main orders devoted to assessment of health of school children and students, as well to find the students who have dependencies to different drugs. From this perspective, 
it is especially important to create electronic tools to monitoring the dynamics of physical and mental health of students, to reveal people with a propensity to different psychosocial dependencies and suicidal behavior, which will allow provide timely correction and treatment of pupils and students. On the basis of these documents, we developed electronic passports for the health monitoring of participants in the educational process for school children, students, etc. In the basis of the methodological approach to assessing human health, we put the following principles. The first one, a holistic approach to the body which is based on the idea of the unity of the physical, somatic health, mental level, and social moral level of a person, ensuring the integrity of the organism, its ability to satisfy its biological, spiritual, and social needs. Secondly, the organism and its environment are the whole system which determines mutual influences on each other. Third one, the level of health can be estimated quantitatively if taking in account the amount of reserve capabilities of the organism to preserve the homeostasis of its internal medium during adaptation to the constantly changing conditions of the external environment, social conditions, or loads. First, the child's organism go through growth and development. Therefore, the parameters characterizing his health change in ontogeny. So, when assessing the health of children and adolescents, it's necessary to take into account not only the presence or absence of any signs of disorders and diseases, but their changes in the process of life and learning. In case of health characteristics, an integrative approach is important, taking into account the dynamics of physical development, functional, psycho-emotional state of the organism, and the learning environment, which should be of health preserving. These principles formed the basis for our computer programs for monitoring the health of subjects of the educational process, which consists of five interconnected autonomous units that allow to assess. The first one, the physical development and the physical state and functional reserves of the organism. Second, the mental health, the state of mental sphere, emotional, strong-willed, cognitive, intellectual, personal. The third one, the evaluation of moral spiritual health as a fulfillment of duties and laws. The first one, to determine the propensity to various psychosocial dependencies. And the fifth one, uh, to determine the effectiveness of the health-preserving, health-saving, environment of the educational organization. Here you can see the systemic levels for determining the health and also the parameters of health which can be measured and expressed quantitatively. The program can be used in local option or online while saving all the results in the database on the organization server or on the regional server of the Ministry of Education and Health, which allows to analyze 
the results of any format by sex, age, by region, and etc. Therefore, monitoring of health is a dynamic quantitative screening diagnostics of physical development, functional state of different organs and systems and their reserve possibility, neuropsychological state, social, ecological, and sanitary hygienic conditions of learning and life environment, and uh, the level of social psychological adaptation to different conditions of life. The purpose of health monitoring of students and pupils is the following. To preserve and to develop the health of students in the process of individual development and learning to evaluate the health-preserving activities of the educational institution, to organize the individual approach to the teaching, to correct the educational programs and teaching to achieve the greatest effectiveness, and to determine the risk groups of addictive behavior. We developed the next programs as electronic passports of health to uh, determine the health of pupils, recruits, students, athletes, and teachers. At this slide, you can see uh, the screenshot of the program, its beginning. On the next uh, figure, you can see the screenshot of the program to determine physical development, physical fitness, and functional condition. As a result, uh, you can see uh, uh, the electronic passport, which includes the final results of physical health assessment of the student in the numeric format. So you can see the results of examination of uh, one student, 20, uh, first year as they presented in the digital form. And on the next slide, you can see the same results which are presented in the graphic form. Thus, you can determine the integration parameters of the physical readiness and also the integration assessment of physical health. All these electronic passports has registration certificates and methodical uh, management which allow uh, teachers to use these programs for determining uh, the health. With the help of these programs, uh, we measured a lot of pupils and students in different educational institutions in the Novosibirsk region, more than 65 schools, and in Tuva region, more than 27 schools, uh, the pupils from these schools were determined. In the universities of Russia, a lot of universities have used these electronic passports for measuring uh, health of the students. Electronic passports of health are characterized by the following advantages. They give the integrative approach to health as a systemic state, including indicators of physical, mental, and social levels. All data are computerized, uh, and this makes possible to create a health bank of various age, sex, and professional groups. All the results have quantitative expression of parameters. This provides the possibility of dynamic observation and comparison of health level of various groups, educational institutions, districts, regions, and etc. Uh, to use this passport, it's not necessary to have expensive equipment because uh, this 
uh, examination is a relative simplicity. It gives possibility to transmit all results via the internet, and by this way to uh, receive the consultation. And also it's very important that all subjects of examinational process are involved in the uh, process of evaluation. And it gives possibility to stimulate uh, their interest to their health. The ability to predict the risk of addictive forms of behavior are associated with a propensity for psychosocial dependence. Thank you for, the, for your attention. Here you can find my email and also the website where all these programs are developed. To the end, I would like to say a lot of thanks that this computer tool allows to evaluate various components of the health of young people. And uh, on this basis, it's possible to form an electronic passport of health, which can be used for individualization of uh, learning, of educational process, and also to use the prompt correction of uh, the health and also the behavioral disorders. Thank you again for the invitation to be a speaker at this conference. I would like to wish all participants and this conference a lot of success in their work. Goodbye.